Hi everyone, it's Simon Hackney. Um, today's painting will be a small seascape and it's going to be called Moonlight. I hope you enjoy it and I hope you have a go at it. Right, okay. I hope you can see that okay. What I've actually got here is um, a 10 by 12 canvas board. I've given it a coat of black gesso and I've marked a horizon four inches up from the bottom. And um, I'm going to give it a coat of liquid clear. Okay. And um, I think what we'll do, we'll do a, a small a moonlit painting of some description. I haven't got anything planned out. But uh, I'm figuring we'll just put some, um, put some paint on there and see where we go with it. Okay. So I'm just going to apply liquid clear quite sparingly to this and uh, this allows me to work wet in wet so when it comes to blending clouds and what have you it's a lot easier I think there'll definitely be some clouds in this one somewhere I know from some of the comments I've had that um, some people like it when I do pictures with clouds in. Brenda, I'm talking to you. <laughs> so we'll put some clouds in this in a moment and see how we go. But first of all, let's just give this a coat, a nice even coat of liquid clear. The colours in the palette that I'm using today is going to be a very, very limited palette today. So uh, I hope you'll have a go at this one. Don't need too many colours, don't need too much paint. And the colours I'm using so far that I've got out on the palette are Prussian Blue, Phthalo Blue, Black, Burnt Umber, and Titanium White. That's what we've got so far. Let's just have a drink of tea, I think. Right. Okay, we'll take a brush. And I'm going to use just a flat brush. And I'm going to go into some Prussian blue. And I'm just going to start laying on some Prussian blue. So, we're going to go into the phthalo blue, this one, and I've gone sort of more or less around the outside of the sky area with the, um, the Prussian blue, and with the phthalo blue, I'm going to just fill in an area in this area of the canvas. Okay, and we're going to blend that. And I know you can't see that actually, because it's a, a black canvas. But when I add the white, you'll begin to see everything take shape. But first of all, let's just blend that in. And I'm just using a, an inch Decent ink brush here. Okay, hogs hair bristle by the look of it. And we'll blend this out and just soften them up together. And of course this will be our our sky. Now 
Okay, so really you can't see that. I've got a job to see it myself. Actually, what you have actually got on there is just Prussian blue at the moment and phalo blue. Right. Now I've washed that brush and I'm just going to dip the corner into some white. Okay, and where I put the phalo blue, I'm going to put some white roughly in the middle of where the phalo blue is, there, and I'm going to start brushing this out toward the outside of the canvas. So I'm just going to be blending this all the way around. And this will mix with the paint as we go along. So it's mixing with the blue underneath. And you can see, hopefully, that it's getting slightly darker towards the edges. And if I want it darker still, I'll actually come back in with some more blue or some black. And just darken it down a little bit. Okay. Looking like a, a night sky of some description, I think, so far. I'm going to blend that, soften it, and I'm going to be using my softening brush for that. Okay, that's not too bad. It's looking pretty good. I think I might have it a little bit darker, just up in the corners, coming in towards that light area. I'll try and keep this as a nice, easy beginner's painting. Try to. And um, hopefully you can have a bash at it if you want to. And if you do, of course, you know, if you like it, subscribe, please. Hit the sub subscribe button and um, give it a thumbs up. And of course, any comments you want to make, I would love to... To hear what you've got to say you know it's um if you like it leave a comment if you don't leave a comment you know obviously and i will get back to you as soon as i can with an answer and if you've got any questions of course i'll answer them as quickly as i can right okay so far so good i think I think we will add just a touch more phalo blue, not phalo, sorry, let's try Prussian, more Pr Prussian blue is what we're looking for, up in these corners. And just darken that down a little bit. So that we've got a more pronounced moonlight area going on on the canvas. Like so. you're picking that up okay I hope you can see that I'm just blending it into the, um, the lighter area where the moon will be just going over this lightly now just blending it in really I could of course do it with a softening brush but um, 
this is working fine. Okay, well we've got some sort of sky, there's something happening. I think before we go any further, we'll add our moon. And um, one of the easiest ways to do that is to get your palette with your white. Get some paint on the end of your finger. Oh, there we go. Like so. And then in the brightest area, we're just going to paint in our moon. Maybe put a little highlight in the middle. So, and then with a softening brush, I'm just going to drag across that just to make it look like there's some wispy type cloud over it. And it will just push it back into the picture a little way. Like that. Okay, so we've got quite a hazy hazy sky going on now. Um, time for some clouds I think. So, clouds. Fan brush. With a fan brush I think. So with a fan brush I'm going to actually take I think they are quite dark clouds on it. I'm going to actually take some of the um, Prussian blue and I'm going to load it onto the fan brush. Okay, so that's just Prussian blue on there. And we're going to go in and we're going to start painting just using the edge of the fan brush in the corner. We're going to start painting just a couple of clouds, just scumble them in as you do. Okay, maybe I have one there. Should we, why don't you have another one? I don't know. We'll do that one first and then we'll have a look. Give my brush a wash. I love these fan brushes. Absolutely love fan brushes. Right, now somewhere I have a round hog's hair brush, this one. Okay, now you can use, you know, you could use anything. You could use the corner of this brush, okay? I mean, you could just use the corner just to blend the bottom. Um, any brush, any brush really. But for me, I particularly like this one, this, this round hog's hair. And all I'm gonna do with this, I'm just gonna bring it in and I'm going to soften the bottom of the cloud. Like that. Okay, so now we've got a nice cloud running across the moon. I think we need a bit of light around the top of that somewhere. There are several ways of doing this. Um, later on, as we progress to paintings with a lot more detail, uh, you'll find that I'll be doing it with a a, um, a very, very fine liner brush or something like that, and actually painting the detail on the top of the cloud. Um, what I'm gonna do for the moment though, is I'm gonna take a fan brush again 
Okay, this one's a good one for this because there's not many bristles on it. And I'm going to go into the white. Okay, so that's loaded with white now. And then just around the tops here and there, like so. I'm just going to drop in some white paint. Okay, can you see that okay? Now don't overdo it with this. Okay, you, a little bit goes a long way. And then we're going to go back into this with our round hot hair brush. And I'm just going to gently blend the bottoms of that. Like so. Okay, and now with my softening brush, my blender, I'm just going to go back in and very, very, very gently, I can't stress that enough, very gently, we're just going to fluff top of that cloud and blend it all together. I'm really sorry about the traffic noise that you're getting during, during all of this. But um, there we have it. Right, okay. And there we've got a lovely, a very lovely actually, very lovely cloud just coming across the sky towards the moon. Whether I'll put another one on there I don't really know. I think it's such a nice quiet painting at the moment that I'll probably leave it as it is. So that's the sky done. That was pretty painless and pretty easy. What do you think? Was it easy? Let me know. Um, you know, try it. Have a have a bash. Have a bash and let me know. So on the bottom of the canvas now, we're going to take our flat brush and we're going to get some Russian blue and we're going to start doing what we did at the top. We're going to do the opposite at the bottom. So I've got the darker areas towards the bottom of the canvas. So I'm putting Prussian blue all the way down there. And there's some phthalo blue. I'm going to think of an imaginary line coming down from this moon. Yeah. So phthalo blue will go in that area there somewhere. Which is like a mirror image of what we did. actually on the top. Right, now I'm just removing the, um, the tape because I need to move that paint now up onto the, excuse my head, up onto the horizon so um, it's nice and slick and wet and, and what have you. Okay, so with the paint that's on the brush I'm just dragging paint where I've just done the bottom and I'm just dragging that paint up to the horizon just to bring it all in together okay now, I don't know whether to do a wave on here or whether to make it a nice calm calm sea I think we'll make it a calm sea actually Let's have a nice calm evening. 
wash the brush. Right, with my inch brush now, I'm going to do exactly what we did in the sky area and I'm going to start with the area that's got the phthalo blue and blend it out into the Prussian blue. Right, now I know you can't see any of that because it all looks black, but when I put the white on you'll begin to see what's happening with the paint. Okay, where were we? We were getting a little bit of white to start putting some colour on the sea. So again, imagining a line straight down from the moon, we're going to start putting our light area there. Okay, not quite as much as there is in the sky. Then we're going to blend that out to the edge of the canvas. And I'll use my faithful inch brush for that. So grabbing that, get rid of that bristle, get off. Grabbing that, just working up to the horizon. We're just going to bring this out to the edge of the canvas. Like so. Okay, I'm just working along the horizon just to give some some sort of light there. Right, I'll maybe have a little bit more white there, I think. So I'm just actually going to dip the brush without washing it straight into the white. And Bring that down, see so if you've actually got some moonlight or something similar going on. Soften that slightly with my blending brush. Like so. Right, this is coming on, I think. It's not looking too bad. Right, I am thinking, excuse me, let's get some tissue. I'm going to get the knife out in a minute. I think with a small brush, a smaller brush, maybe a filbert. Okay, we've got a filbert there. I'm just going to go into some of the brown, which isn't in fact um, burnt umber, like I said earlier on. My apologies, it's actually Van Dyke Brown. So I'm going to go into some Van Dyke Brown, a little bit of the um, Prussian Blue, and then over here somewhere, we've just had a little headland coming out there. A 
be dropping down just slightly ran into a bay with some description it's got a little head on there and rather I normally put an island in don't I but rather than that I think I'll add a just a little something over this side just in the distance there Yeah. Okay, can you see that? Is that showing up all right? I'll right, we'll take that filter at the end, wherever it is. And we'll just tidy that up along the top there. Just drive that paint out a bit. Good. And I think we need just the tiniest highlight along the top of that. So I'm just going to take a very small brush, take some white, and just here and there. Paint in a bit of highlight where the, where the moonlight would be hitting that, so just a little bit of detail on there. I'm not being too fussy about this, I'm trying to keep it simple. Okay, and the same this side, I think, just a little bit of something running down towards the sea there. Okay, I think that will do for that. That doesn't look too bad, I don't think. Something happening out in the distance there. Give that a wash. Right, if I can find it, there we are. I'm going to go back in with some white on the knife, as I did before. So we've got a small roll of paint there. And on the horizon, I'm just going to put cut in a small line just running over the picture so that um, you can see where the horizon is now very quiet very serene very nice nice little painting so far I'm liking this one Maybe one or two small ripples. Coming down the sea here, predominantly where the, where the moonlight's falling perhaps. Just one or two like this. Not too many. And I'm literally just rubbing these in, just cutting them in with the edge of the knife. That little tiny roll of white paint that I've got on there. Try and keep them parallel with your horizon, the bottom of the picture. I might actually go in and soften that just very slightly with my blender brush. Just soften that just a little bit. Okay, now it looks like we've got some sort of reflected light on the water. Now do we need a little piece of beach, some, some beach on here, I think we might put something on. And to do that, I'm going to go into 
the, um, the Van Dyke brown, some of the Prussian blue, some of the black, and somewhere here we'll just have some sort of beach happening. I'm actually going to blend that out into the water with a clean dry brush. And just soften it as I go. There, okay. Well, that doesn't look too shabby. That's pretty good, I think. That's not too bad at all. It's coming on nicely. Okay. If I don't want too much light on the beach, we'll have a little light on the beach, not too much. So I'm just going to take a fan brush. Very lightly load it with paint, so there's hardly any paint on it. And I'm going to come down, level with the moon, again here, so this is up on our beach. I'm just going to pull down, like so. Okay, and this is very subdued at the moment. So a little bit more white, just to give it a bit of stronger character in the reflection. Like so, and then with a nice soft brush, okay this one, nice soft bristles, I'm just going to pull across from the lightest area towards the outside there. I think I like that, so we're going to have that a little bit stronger now. So I'm just adding some more white here. And I'm going to go back in with that soft brush. And just pull across. There, so we've got some sort of reflection. Some sort of wet sand. Showing. Like so. Okay, you getting that? Can you see that? Does that look wet? I think it does. It looks pretty good to me. Give that brush a good wipe, a good clean. I think we'll add a very small surf line. Just a small, thin surf line on the edge of the beach. Okay, and that's usual just a small roll of white paint on the on the palette knife there so just here somewhere just a small line of surf running up the sand like so and one or two pebbles maybe so for those, I think I'll keep them quite small. I'm going to use a soft flat brush and I'm going to double load this brush. So we're going to go into on one side of the brush. Can you see that the sunlight's on it, isn't it? There we go. One side of the brush, we're going into phthalo blue. The other side of the brush, we're going into white. Okay, so we've got white one side, blue the other. And with the white uppermost, we're just going to paint in, in one stroke, Just a few rocks, 
or something happening. Out on this beach. It's on the other side, just one or two. So far so good. And with another flat brush, clean and dry this one, soft bristled. So you could use a hog's hair brush. I'm just going to grab that and pull that down. You can't really see it on the camera. And it's just taking a bit of that colour, a bit of reflected colour into the sand. Like so. And we might just need the tiniest, tiniest hint of white, maybe. Just under those rocks, just to make it seem that they're actually on the ground and not some um, floating around in thin air. Well, I've just actually taken a flat brush now, and what I'm actually doing, I'm just dragging the existing paint. Just down the canvas a bit, just to um, make it seem like there's some light breaking from the underneath of this cloud. So I've just blended that very slightly. It's very, very subtle. You can hardly see it. Hardly see it. You probably won't be able to pick it up on the camera, I shouldn't think. It's very subtle. I'm just tidying up a bit around the top of the island here. Just drag that paint out a bit more. I'm getting fussy now. I'm getting finicky now, starting to fiddle with it. Okay, that's not looking too bad. With a very small brush. Dip it in the white. A little bit of thinners on there. And then somewhere here, I don't know where, somewhere there. Just have the hint. And the seagull. Flying away in the distance there. And I think a signature. pull that one down. Now this painting will be for sale so if anybody would like to purchase this please um, get in touch with me you'll see all the contact details at the bottom of the video if you look down there and you can get in touch with me through my website online so somewhere here we just need a small signature like so and I think we'll call that one done I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed 
this um, easy painting demonstration and I hope you try it I hope you um, have a go at these and um, let me know you know show me your work let me know how you're getting on and uh, how, how it's all coming together for you you know it's it's a learning curve of course but uh, there we have it I mean in in probably just about an hour you know we've got a very very acceptable oil painting you know whether it be beginners or or otherwise you know it, it's it's lovely it's um it's a smashing little painting so if you need it or if you want it if you like it leave me a comment if you'd like to purchase it please get in touch with me if you like what i'm doing please hit the subscribe button and uh give me a thumbs up and i'd really appreciate that okay well i hope you've enjoyed today's painting I'm Simon Hackney. Uh, I hope you're enjoying the um, the paintings that I'm doing. I hope you're finding them fairly easy. I'm trying to keep them on the uh, beginner level at the moment and I hope you try them. So um, we've just done this small seascape. A very very limited palette so you don't need a lot of materials and very very easy techniques. If you like it as I say please give my channel a, um, a like, give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button um, I really appreciate that it's it's great to have some support and if you've got any comments or any questions or anything like that please leave them below and if you'd like to purchase this of course then just go to my website and um, you'll find it for sale on there okay that's another one done thank you very much